Hello guys, I hope you've been well. So welcome back to another tutorial of Stabit or Stabit tutorial. Now in this tutorial we are going to learn about how to export and how to how to calculate the statistical distribution of the slip traces at the grain boundaries. That is what I promised to do last time. So in my case I have already exported, I have already imported my grain boundary file and my grain file type 2 for my HCP structure like that. You can see the HCP crystals over here. Please remember this to put the correct stress tensor, otherwise you'll get the wrong results. So in this case, here yeah, we are going to, to do the, the slip trace of the following basal slip, prismatic slip, and then pyramidal slip, pyramidal one and pyramidal two. Uh, twins, there's no need for the twins, but let's just keep them for fun. And then we are going to just select any any parameter that you want to plot like that so let's see what happens and we'll get a plot here so once you get this plot you can decide to reduce these cells or because sometimes when you have so many cells of a thousand cells you, you, it requires a lot of cpu power so you can just remove them by clicking the unit cell like that and then they'll disappear and then from here you come and click plot slip traces and you'll see the slip traces will be plotted here and as we wait and as you can see we have the slip traces like that we have the greens for the twins the reds for the prismatic a and so on and so forth but because we did not select prismatic 2 you will not see the pink the pink color in the legend here now we want counting all these is a bit tricky so we have to be smart and uh, know how we are going to export this data so I tried so many ways, but counting this, especially for thousands and thousands of grains, a bit of a problem. So what I did, I came here, file, and then I generated, I generated a code like that. So now we are going to it, and in the code we will find that all these lines are assigned a specific color, and we are going to use the legend to help us understand which color is to which. And please note, you must also have Excel installed in your computer. So we wait. Now the exportation has been completed successfully. Now the next thing we do, we come here. This is what has been generated. As you can see, we have plot three. So you go for plot three. As you can see, we have the color and we have all these codes. So we have specific codes. So we need to go all the way down all the way down all the way down all the way down and compare this you see we have the legend this is the legend so as you can see for the basal we have 001 so 001 is for the basal this is the color for the basal 100 is for the prismatic a and so on and so forth so what you need to do is to come here like this and then we do we select this all the way down but up to this 548 and then we copy after copy we come to excel and we paste this data we paste that data like that and then after pasting that data now we go to data and then we need now to convert text to column the limited now we go semicolon and then now we don't have semicolon we put comma we put space and then we put the other one as and put this and then we go on next finish like that and then this other one we also need to select this one no, no, not filter sorry we select this we convert text to column the limited next so in this case we put this other square bracket like that so that we separate next finish so we have that and now we also come here and we cut we control c that and we paste here and then we also convert this text to column and then we go deleted finish like that so what we do because we know that each of these has a specific color let's say for example for the base of plane let's say for the basal plane is 001 so what you do in your excel you just come here and then you filter after you filter you know anything that 
hearts zero. And as you can see, all of them are zero, zero, 001. So we just come here, control shift down, and then you see the total number are 45. So you can open a new, you can open a new one, and then you say 45 for the base of like that. So you say base of, and then after doing that, now we do the same thing for the other sleep systems. Now we come here and we do for the one zero zero. So we are going to do one zero zero that is for the prismatic. And then so all these are one zero zero. And then now we come here because this one, this first one, this first one, don't mistake it because we have this other line here. So come here, do that, and then you see. 32 so 32 32 and like that and then you say prismatic and then after that you do the rest for the others and then you have your total here total let's say sum of all this and then like that and then here we are going to have a percentage so you do this over this times 100 so like that so as you can see so far the base are 58 percent and here so i have to fix this so what you do here what you need to do here sorry is to come here and f4 like that when you do f4 like that you just do that so you fix you fix this total so let's say we add twins for example twins and now for the twins we have 0 0.137 so you just come here and then you do you can do unfilter and then you do 0 0.137 and then you see how many we have so unfortunately we don't have it's only one like that so the best thing usually is to give other assign other letters on top of this so that you don't have you don't mistake any of the points when you filter out so we ha only have one for the twin. So if we put one like that, and then we drag this down, you see that it's 1.2% for the twin system. And uh, let's say for the other one, the last one, maybe you can try pyramidal A, this one, which one, which is one, and then 0 0.647. Uh, so we can come here, then you say, you say one here, and then 0 0.647 like that and then after that control shift and then we look at the total number of counts is 66 so we say pyramidal is 66 so after that we drag this down and we find that the pyramidal is the highest and you can even plot this and have a better representation of what is actually happening as you can see the pyramidal and so on and so forth so that's how much that's how you can do these calculations but i don't think this is the correct representation because i have taken for the number this is for the number and this one is one of them is for the percentage so the best thing is to just take this and this and then insert if you are to do something you do it right or don't do it at all so as you can see this is the correct representation of the percentage yeah and that's all for today cheers